Okay, in this video, we're going to set up a measurement really quickly, and then we're going to learn how to convert it from pixels into millimeters. So first, I'm going to locate this part because I know it moves all around. I'm going to use Pat Max Pattern. We already talked about this a little bit more in depth. I'm going to set this up to look everywhere. Okay, I'm going to call this find part. I'm going to set up my rotation to be 180 degrees plus or minus. I'm going to check really quickly. Does it follow it all around? Yes. You can see there was an image, a grid that showed up. We're going to get back to that. I'm going to set up a measurement. Okay, distance, top to bottom. Okay, I'm going to adjust these just a little bit. Let's say like this. And something like this. Okay, pretty good, I think. Let's see, does it work? It follows it around. Yes, but you can see our measurement is in pixels. So we're gonna get up to this grid. We're gonna stop here. We're gonna go back to setup image. And under calibration type, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna pick grid. Okay, I'm gonna say, Calibrate, it's going to bring up this other little menu. It's going to say checkerboard with fiducial. This is a checkerboard. This part right here is the fiducial. That's letting the uh, the computer or software know which way is X and which way is Y. Well, that one's Y. And it's saying each one of these grids is 10 millimeters. Right here is printed on here, but it's a little faded out. It says grid spacing 10 millimeters. Okay, so that's what we want. We're gonna go to pose. This gives us a chance to actually trigger the camera and get a picture of a grid, but we already have this saved. Okay, I'm just gonna hit calibrate. And right now it tells me excellent. You can see it has little cr crosses or little X's here, finding where all the corners of these uh, checkerboard patterns match up. And when we hit OK, and we go to our next image, everything is in millimeters now. OK, so I can see this is 32 millimeters. It's telling me it's a fail because before it took that in uh, pixels. So my range limits were set in pixels. So let's say 32 is exactly right. And I'm going to say we have a tolerance of plus or minus one millimeter. I'm going to say maximum 33 millimeters minimum 31 millimeters. And now if I go through and check this distance, it's passing on all of them. And that's how you can take your, your job and calibrate to a known measurement using a grid. 